It's football gym, but not as we know it. In fact, it might as well be crazy golf on the deck of a North Sea trawler, the way the wind is this afternoon at Priory Lane and indeed across all of southern England. But uh, whatever happens, we have a match, Eastbourne Borough against Dartford in the National League South. And there's that long ball forward again. The ball to the edge of the area, Walker cannot quite get uh, beyond the centre back. Who claims he was fouled? Referee doesn't want to know. Wills chips it wide on that far side to Nick Wheeler, and in front of him is going Chris Campbell. There he is. It's too long. No, he's brought it back, but the keeper gets his foot in, and it's the first corner of the game. West takes it, takes it short, in fact. Oh, and it's gone beyond Nicky Wheeler, and it's darts who can break. Neat bit of work by Gordon. And then a bit of an ankle tap on Romain. Reasonable kick by Smudge, got to halfway, but the Reds have it. West to Lua. Boats one in and another corner. Well, they've not relieved West of his corner-taking duties. Third time lucky. Better one. Double punch by Mark Smith and then headed out beyond the area. Arm through over the halfway, but then a missed pass. And Walker is in. No angle to shoot at, but he tries it anyway. Campbell. Room for a shot. Oh, and he's felled. Oh, my friend. The referee decided it was no foul. Campbell infield to Ferry. Wants the shot, really. Passes it off. And Walker is off target. West floats this one. In goes Kinder John. Oh, a nice little flick. And out it goes. Oh, a very, oh, a very clear block, I have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll try and commentate neutrally. That one hung up very nicely and bursting through here is a charge. Out of nothing. Norman and Wado races onto that through ball, picks his shot slot just inside the back post, and Dartford have the lead. Oh, slap, slap control from Lua, and it allows the darts to break. Lou Callan lays it off, Wado. Fancy's taking his man on, comes inside. Strikes a shot which is not going to cause any problem, but it's a free kick. There's the shot, hits the wall, has another go. West, Will's in front of him. Instead of that, he finds Ferry. Now it does find Will's, into the box. Oh, and a miscontrol by Greg Lua. Oh, a good header and only a yard or so wide from Charlie Walker. down for Walker and now for Wills was there a foul referee not interested Walker is still down another yellow card coming out here There's West free kick, it's quite low. Flicked header, going well wide. Looked promising for a moment, but from this angle we were deceived. And instead of that, Dartford will race away. Piling through midfield here. Doing very well indeed to get the uh, ball in there. Oh, and a shot 
shot from Romain, an excellent save by Tom Hadler gets Borough out of jail. They need to get a break. Oh, and a shocking pull back there. <laughs> well, that's as clear a yellow as you'll see. Oh, and you're in there. Remain in behind from the goal kick. You can't be off. You're across into some space. Wheeler retrieves it. One on one. Checks inside. Thinks about the shot. In towards the back post. And Mark Smith takes it second go. West loses it. Shot from distance. Oh, what a cracking shot that was. And that's the way to return to your old club. In fairness, no big celebrations from Elliot Romain. Looked up, saw the goal gaping and found the top corner. Into the D. Good shot on the turn. Safely into the tummy of Tom Hadler. Good ball over the top. Super shot, super save. Still, still there. Chance to follow up. Blocked. Here's Wado, that first goal score. And this could be another yellow card. It's still Luke Allen to take it. In the car park. Walker offloads to Wheeler. Need some wizardry, Nicky. Decent ball across. Where will it fall? Great save. No, I can't quite reach it. But Chris Campbell can do. Show them how it's done, Chris. Oh, it's a big high floater. Dartford head under it, only as far as Nick Wheeler. Walker inside him if he wants. He'd rather get the cross in. All the way across. Lots of possession for Eastbourne. No penetration yet. Here's one over the top. It finds Chris Campbell. Show him how it's done, Chris. Long foot for the shot. Does strike it, but no power. Oh, a good one, too. And now a bit of pace. In through that gap. Free kick given. We have hope. If it goes wide, we go home. Oh, the bar. oh my goodness. And then headed wide. Ball across. Well, very acceptable chance and Borough have had four possible sites of goal in the last ten minutes of the match. <laughs> Dreadful weather conditions then at Priory Lane. Uh, not much better quality in the match, if we're honest, but Dartford have edged it with a goal in each half. Borough playing with the elements in the first half, but going a goal down to that breakaway on the half hour. And then Elliot Romain, return of the Romain, made it 2-0 with a smashing strike. And Borough, although they had a, a good, strong finish to the match, they couldn't find the net, and they've gone down by two goals to nil here at Priory Lane. Well, Sergio Torres, first thing I'm going to do, I ought to give you a big man hug really because you've come out to do this interview for us. It is emptying down with rain a few yards away and you've just watched your team get washed away really. You're a hero. No, it's all right. <laughs> hey, um, it's just, yeah, really hard to take because the boys come up two amazing performances, uh, Tuesday and Saturday and, um, and today I've really thought this is going to be a chance for us to you know, to get a three points. Um, there's no excuses, but the weather is exactly the same for both teams. Um, but yeah, it's, it's horrific conditions. Yeah. I've been involved a few weeks ago when we played Oxford City, I think it was. Right, uh, yeah. It's just, just one of the things, you can't really do the things you, you train, you know, the, the, the playing on the ball and passing. The ball goes up and it goes anywhere. And even on the floor when you're trying to pass it, it just moves. 
So it's it's, it's really difficult situation here to play. Um, but we still created some great chances, especially the last 20 minutes or so. Yeah, also, the boys, yeah, that's what we try to ask in the second half. You have to play from the back because mm -hmm. it's not going to be point kicking out because the ball is going to keep coming back. So we have to be brave and, you know, we made a mistake and, yeah, you know, I put my hands up. But at least we're trying to do the right things. In the mm -hmm. first half, I thought we were, um, we were a bit, I don't know, because we had a win, we thought we had to win it now. And then I thought we were, um, yeah, a bit, a bit over the top, a bit too much, trying to, uh, trying to find these passes and we we're going long. We were, uh, so we didn't be calm, like in the second half, we were trying mm -hmm. to pass the ball around. Um, you won the toss, I think, didn't you? I believe they won the toss, yeah. yeah and, I mean, I know nothing about football, but I always thought, why not play against it first half? Look, uh, last year, two years ago, we were always going against the win, the first half, and we were losing games. Yeah. And sometimes we go with the win. You, I like to think that, get the advantage first, and then yeah. defend the after. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I think it's, it's just luck. And then, it's, in a game like today, I said to the boys, whoever made the less mistakes, uh, Whoever capitalized on their mistakes is, mm -hmm. and then they we made two mistakes and then they score and yeah. it's just mm -hmm. one of the things you know it, it's gonna happen with conditions like that. Um, but I was um, I was pleased with the second half. The boys you know mm -hmm. show a bit of you know trying to trying to get a game back and um, but like I said yeah. it's it's, it's difficult to take a, the the loss. Yeah, and certainly the last 10 minutes, credit to your team, because I think you created four chances that I counted just in those last few minutes. Yeah, I know a game, like I said, we could have won 3-2 in mm. uh, the, the last 15, 20 minutes. Mm. Um, we hit the bar, um, West Ham is an unbelievable chance that mm -hmm. the goal is safe, and another mm. day they go in. They didn't, apart from unbelievable strike from Elliot, um, <laughs> didn't really cause us much problem on the mm. first half, that just one chance. So. I don't know. I would like to play that game again in a, in a normal conditions. <laughs> and uh, you've got to go again. You've got um, a County Cup game in midweek and then a tough one next weekend to Wealdstone. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I just say to them, to the boys, we have to go again. And uh, next week is not going to be easy. But so they um, you know, managed to get some am amazing results against Hemel and, uh, and Weymouth. So put a performance, mm. uh, another combative performance. and. Play, play the game. As like I said, the last 20 minutes, that show you you all good players because we can't play from the back. And then we, di we did it today, so we're just trying to encourage that and uh, just hopefully um, yeah, get a good result on Tuesday and go there on Saturday. And with all that's gone on in the club, it's remarkable that we, we can see, even from a distance, that there's real spirit among the players themselves. I mean, they could have let their heads go down or shrug the shoulders. They're actually working even harder, aren't they? Um, yeah, that's something which I'm, I'm really pleased and then, you know, I thanked the boys today before the game and I thanked them on last Saturday and on Tuesday. What happened last week was, you know, out of the blue, we didn't expect it and we know the, the financial situation the club is in and of course it's not easy. Uh, once you, you know, you're in doubt if what's going to happen, but the boys conduct themselves amazing. They, that's what I say, I said, do it for you, do it for each other, do it for your families, you know, just, you know, work hard and and then um, the rewards are going to come. So uh, I, I'm, I'm really happy with, with them for how, how they reacted, uh, considering what happened last week. And for me, it's been yeah, crazy 10 days, but um, not much sleep. Um, I just uh, yeah, would like to, to get back on the pitch as well, as soon as possible. Let's <laughs> hope so. Thanks very much indeed, Sergio. Thank you, Kevin. Cheers.